probably okay we're live now so let me see here i need to go right here and there and i need to i'm talking to myself anybody who's here i'm talking to myself oh i'm crazy so okay here we go and i'll pull let's see i want to want to do this hey grumpy how are you hey adam how are you guys doing today here this is what i'm trying to do trying to uh slide my hangout over there we go so i can see hey kim how are you and uh april is here with me and uh you guys hey, everybody. <laughs> You guys may get tired of me in April for the next few days. You're going to see us together quite a bit, but um, that's okay. <laughs> so, anyway, but she she's just showing her bougie, her bougie bear. So she's been crazy busy. She got a bunch of orders in on uh, Etsy today. <laughs> My husband just walked to the door and said, for you to quit showing your boobies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness crazy man so anyway this morning i told him I, uh of course you know living with a brain injury is hey um, hey jacob there's my baby boy and uh, living with a brain injury is a lot different than anybody ever could imagine so and he's going to get loud in there dave pull my door to you're making so much noise you're drowning me out anyhow but we my mom called and asked me to do an errand and i told him i said Remind me when we get to the post office to go in and buy Granny's stamps. And uh, his, mm -hmm. and he's saying stamps, 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 stamps. He's trying to remember. And hmm. we get to the post office, and neither one of us remember. And I told him, I said, uh, we ain't got a brain between us. So anyway, so I am going to show you guys some uh, Christmas brooches. So anyway, a gal on Texas Gal traders on the trader group where we sell stuff had a whole bunch of christmas brooches and being me being me i just bought them all <laughs> so <laughs> anyway so i'm going to show them to y'all and there are some nice brooches in here some really nice ones oh that one's even signed so anyway hey kathleen yes brooches i love bro christmas brooches and this one is signed Corel, and I've seen that mark before. So isn't that pretty? That's really classic. That's a beautiful tree. So anyhow, so I'm going to tell y'all. Oh, I want to tell everybody. I know there's just 14 here right now, but I am only going to have one auction in December, and it will be on a week from tonight on December the 10th, and that's the only auction I will be having all of December. So hey, Jane uh kathleen kim uh there she thrifts is mary uh let's see who else is here um anyway so i'm only going to have one auction this month so i'm going to have a lot anna and grumpy and adam and of course april's here and but uh uh i uh am going to just do and jacob my nephew's here so or he was so he likes to pop on and say hi to Aunt Sandy. So, and I love it. So anyway, this one's cute too. I like it. Enamel, red and green enamel. Isn't that cute? So, mm -hmm. so bougie, you got a bunch of goodies for tonight? <clears throat> oh, I do. I have probably more than I'll get through. So, <laughs> and you were yeah. asking for the uh, Christmas jewelry. So I went through everything and I found, I forgot that I had some sterling silver Christmas tree uh, pendants and some sterling uh, Christmas tree earrings. So those will be in there. Okay. This one is really pretty, but it's broken. The, the clasp is broken off of it. So anyway, mm -hmm. that's kind of disappointing, but that I may, Maybe I can fix it somehow. I don't know. Well, they sell those little pin backs at um at oh, the craft store, and maybe you can just uh, you know solder it on or something because we have like a soldering gun for little yeah, repairs. I have a I have a soldering gun. I just don't have no flux. So huh. anyway, but uh, 
And I do have a whole bunch of those little pin backs. Ooh, this one is pretty. Look at it. That's really pretty. So, oh, yeah. anyway. Hey, Tiki. So, and Dia. I see Dia. Hey, Dia. Ooh, I like that. And now I have one nearly just like that in silver. Hey, April, this is one of those things that we talk, we've we talked about. about okay. See the, see this, guys? Me and April has talked about the fact that sometimes you get cartouches that the um, that the signature is not printed in it clear enough to even read. I mean, there's no way that you could. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like they it's like they make them and then dip them. Yeah. And then it sometimes pulls in there and you can't read the, the writing. I need flux to go to run the flux capacitor. Hey, listen, I can probably almost tell you every word to that silly movie. So or the that silly movie series, because oh, there's the back of that other pen that broke off. So mm. that's sad that it broke off. Wonder if there's any way I can I don't think there's any way. Maybe, or maybe some uh, J. What is that called? What J. Weld? J. W. Well, what is that stuff called? It's like a. <clears throat> it's a almost like a welding um, epoxy. Yeah, I've heard of that. My nose yeah. is itching. I can't remember exactly J. Weld, J. W. Weld, or something like that. I remember my uncle used to use it when working on vehicles and stuff. So here's a oh, cute little pen, not signed. And this one is really pretty. It's all enamel. There's no rhinestones on it. So KC is here. Francis is here. KC, Kara, hey, y'all. So tonight is April. Oh, I held that upside down. Oh, and it's got a little dingle dangle on it. Now what is that? Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Okay, here. See that little dingle dangle hanging there in the middle? That's got a candle on it. Here. I've never seen such. <laughs> it really don't fit on there right, but it's cute. But anyway, so tonight is April's auction over on Bougie Bear Vintage. If you're not subscribed, hey, Cheryl Siver. Cheryl, have you made it home yet to see all your goodies in your box? So, are you still with your children? So, you fly home tomorrow. Hey, Rainbow Bling. And San Juan is here. Kathleen's here. I think I said hi. Hey, Peterson and just Sandy. JB Weld. That's what she's, yeah. That's what I was trying to remember. <laughs> oh, so, ooh, that one's pretty. That one's real pretty. Helpful. Let me. I just want to look at it. Good luck. Okay, it's got a rhinestone that's dead in it, and of course, it's right in the middle of it, so it really makes it look like it's gone. See, this one here is it's just nearly dead, and it. I'm gonna pop that sucker out and put another one in it. That's really pretty, though. A really pretty pen. I like how it's designed. Oh, wow. I really like that one. So, yeah. So, April this morning, I went to the post office and and uh, the lady was there. Mm -hmm. And I uh, always like the lady. The guy, he's always just, he's kind of rude. Anyway, and I told her, I said, well, I had my first breakage. said I sent a package to my friend April and and there was a lot in it, and some of it arrived broke. I said, there was a necklace that completely snapped in two. She said, wow, they must have thrown something really hard, heavy on it. And I said, they must have. Mm -hmm. But when they're when they're like that, I, that's cute. That little enamel Christmas candy. Yeah, that's pretty. When they're like that, and they're they're heavy and big, so they just throw them around. Mm -hmm. So it obviously... So, <clears throat> Anyway, here's one more. Uh, that one's really pretty. The enamel on it's really nice. So, 
and this last one and it's blingy blingy y'all would never know that i like blingy blingies everybody doing okay so anyhow there we go ain't that pretty come on focus 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 lot of focus so there we go anyway so uh so let me just tell y'all a, a little bit about what's going to be the next few days okay that was all of them and i'm thrilled with with it and if you're interested in buying any of these you're welcome to message me and guys i've decided because i get a lot of confusion because i use two different email addresses i'm just going to start using my paypal email address and my regular email address and it's cnd11 at yahoo.com so but if you want to mail me at gmail that's fine too but uh, uh so uh i've never tried that jb weld so anyway i bought this from a girl on texas gal traders and uh it's really cool and uh um, there was 13 brooches in it and i got one that broke yeah so you know what I'm wondering let's see something here anyway let me just tell you what's going to happen tomorrow is my talk show and I, i'm trying not to be rude and here let's do that one okay tomorrow is my talk show and my special guest like i said it's me and april this week <laughs> april and i are buds this week so tomorrow is april <laughs> not is my just guest. this week all the time we're buds all the time yes we are but uh april is my guest tomorrow and tomorrow we are definitely going to learn something about april that we did not know okay uh -oh. i don't know what but we're going to uh -oh. learn something okay and so uh <laughs> and then tomorrow evening april and casey and i are going to have a hangout jewelry and jar and a chat a jewelry jar and a chat is what it's called and this week i'm going to be the one opening the jewelry jar <laughs> and uh, this is a jewelry jar that april got me that so what do you think about this just hanging it on a chain and wearing it on a chain i think it'd, I think it'd be pretty, pretty on, a, pretty chain. on a chain if you this, can make like a little bell on the back maybe yeah this chain here I, <coughs> i'm sorry okay i'm coughing too <laughs> And this one here uh, is just, I just put it through the holes anyway, but uh, I don't know how I would make a bail because there is no way to attach anything. So this you may can be. Send it to me and I'll, I'll fix it. <laughs> and okay, love I'll, it. I'll, send it to you. I'll try, I'll do a video with the JB Weld and see how that works out. Okay. That sounds like a plan. So I'll do that. I, I, I've got some more things that uh, I'll have laid aside that, that'll come to you so anyway if it so, works out i'll send it all back to you and then you'll have you can have and it. then i'll have another brooch so anyway, and i'll have so, a video and you'll have <laughs> so here this is a jewelry jar <laughs> uh, april got me a jewelry jar and i told her it was okay to put it in a bag and ship it like this and uh so tomorrow we're going to open it and hey mother's mustache ainsley and uh let's see i think every, i think i've said hi to everybody else um but anyway no jennifer hayes i didn't say hi to you so anyway but uh and we're going to open it tomorrow night so y'all do not know i mean y'all seriously do not know how hard this is <laughs> okay. i do i understand it's hard for me <laughs> listen margaret was showing the other day she was showing a, a video and she showed a tub full of jars and i like to like okay let me just drive to wherever you live right now and i'll help you open those <laughs> so i just load up in my car and come open them I, I am not i'm i'm one of those kind of persons that don't tell me that you got my christmas present already because then i want to search the house for it <laughs> <laughs> me too i have been known to open presents and rewrap them so I was yeah. telling somebody that the other day that when I was young, I used to do that all the time. I would go when my mom was at work and sneak in there and open the uh, like an easy open section of the present and 
peek in there and then close it back up and make it look like it never been opened and pretend to be surprised. <laughs> I've been there, done that. My uh, mom used to have to stick it in another box so that I couldn't do that. <laughs> um, uh, my husband, uh, he, I can tell him, your Christmas present is in this closet. Do not look in this closet. And he won't. He won't go look. But, and my son is the same way. But not me. Don't tell me, oh, I got your Christmas present and I hid it in my room. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's like a challenge. Let's find it. <laughs> so, anyway. so We are sneaky, so. We like to see what's what we've got. We don't want no surprises. So anyway, so or anyhow. Oh, um, uh, did Blandine come in? I think I think I saw somebody say hi to Blandine. So let me see. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Blandine. Welcome. So anyway, but yeah. We're, I'm excited, but there's like I said, there's only going to be one auction for me in December. And I might as well say it right here, right now. A lot of my regulars aren't here right now, but some of y'all are. You would never peek. Oh, my gosh, Cheryl, you're so good. <laughs> See, I would rather know that I have something that I really am going to like than to open something that is not a surprise that is a surprise and really not like it because I'm one of those people usually if I think it you can see it on my face and uh, I have had a lot of Christmases that I have been major disappointed because my husband is not the best of shoppers <laughs> so anyway you're here but you're it oh my gosh Adam it's so crazy I'm gonna have to start doing you like Margaret does Dan don't read it out loud <laughs> he's irregular so anyway but anyway but I want to tell y'all that in 2019 especially through the winter I'm probably only going to do one auction a month because I want to try other avenues to see if I can I don't it's like I don't want all my eggs in one basket so Anyway, there were never presents under the tree until you woke up Christmas morning. Hey, I know I knew where my mama's hiding spot was. She mm. was under there. Yeah, me too. Would I tell somebody if they bought me a gift I didn't like? If it was my husband, yes. I've told my husband many times that he bought me a gift I didn't like. But it's not. See, that's not the problem. I don't have to tell them. You can see it on my face. I was about to say that's the problem there. And I'm exactly the same way for the same reason. I can't hide my uh, reaction. <laughs> it's like a, you open it and you go, oh. Yes. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so what's in what basket? What's in what basket? So uh, don't put all my what's in the basket. Don't put all my eggs in one basket to have multiple streams of income. Yeah, well, I want to try different things. I'm going to do some pop-up shops for one thing, but I also am going to start making some vintage lots to go on Etsy because I have not given Etsy any attention and it's feeling a little neglected. And I want to uh, start, start some lots for Etsy. And um, I've got to get some of, these, some of these purses on Poshmark. So... But I do want y'all know if you've watched me long enough, you know that I'm a little paranoid about selling things. Um, it doesn't bother me to sell things that I show y'all in my videos because I hold it up. I turn it this way, that way and all that. And it don't bother me like to sell like that big necklace that I sold to Belinda. That was my friend. But selling stuff like that on line like on ebay makes me real nervous so and on poshmark and all of that so but poshmark has is a little bit better at protecting the seller than ebay is mm -hmm. and so i want to um get some of these nicer purses on my poshmark my uh it's a 
it's a dove which you're looking at it upside down because when i hold my arm out like this people see it it's a dove with a ribbon that wraps around it and it has my son's initials jdl and then the year he's born and the year he died and so there the dove and i got that um i think two years or three years after he died on on his birthday so you can't hide your reaction so anyway but uh, uh anyhow but yeah yeah and we're coming up in january it'll be the 10 year anniversary of his death so i cannot believe when i think about him of course he died when he was 14 so he's always going to be 14 in my face yeah i mean in my face in my mind and so when i think about the fact that he would be a 24 year old man it just is crazy to me even though i have a son who's a 25 year old man it's still crazy to me so okay san juana thank you for coming in so you sell on poshmark all the time and it is a great place and they're nice to you well i have a posh store and i have made sales there but again it's something that i've not given a lot of attention to and since i <laughs> since my totally totally Holy phone is working again. <laughs> I can take good pictures. <laughs> so, anyway, so. so April, tell us some of the brands that are in your jewelry jar because you've got this honking big jewelry jar. Tell um, us some um, of the brands that are in it. Let's see if I can look at it and remember. I didn't even think about So while I'm talking to April and uh did, hey April, did you mention to Mike about about? Oh yeah, we yeah, yeah. Okay, because I'm like I don't want him to come back later. Okay, here oh. here is a warning for y'all. Uh, if you sell a lot of jewelry, uh, if you sell a lot of jewelry, and you're gonna shove it in one of these big bags like this. Make sure that when you put it in a bag that there's, first of all, that there's room left for it to move unless you've got some kind of hard board because some of the jewelry that was in my jar, some of the vintage pieces that were in my jar that I sold Mike, I stuck down in a purse and he asked me to ship it to April. Uh, she's helping him do some things with it. And so because it was in this purse and the bag was really tight, and really heavy when they threw it around on the truck some of my vintage pieces got broke so my fault totally my fault for not packing it a little bit better and i should have done it better than i did so there is you a word of warning about if you're shipping out heavy duty things make sure that you are supporting them um good the good thing is you know the bad thing is they were vintage things that i can't replace the good thing is i had more vintage stuff to send so another package went out to april for mike that had had uh, some extra pieces of jewelry to replace those that were broke and uh, i talked to the post office lady about it i told her this morning and she said you know when they're on the trucks like that <laughs> there's nothing they can do to keep them from just just throwing them around and i'm like and now we know why the post office has trouble with issues <laughs> so. yeah and keeping people and stuff they can they can drive at home just like any other company we expect this don't do this but obviously they're not trying well well my We're thing is okay when when i go and i take packages like this how are they loaded on the truck surely they just don't throw them up in a truck like this surely they box them or something wouldn't you think i think that they have those little crate things that for packages like that they'll stick them in those crates and then they probably stack those crates or something 
But that's why I always write fragile on it. So at least whoever it is fooling it with it would think, okay, it's not a smart idea to stack a bunch of stuff up on top of this because it says fragile. But that doesn't mean somebody's actually being considered. Yeah. See, I've heard that that just uh, that just encourages them to be even rougher with it. So, and Lord no, Lord no. Well, that that one that I sent you, it was really it was a real tight fit in that bag, and so that one I really should have just done it a little different so well, I hope yours is bag. okay because there's a lot in your bag and I should have thought about that too <laughs> but um, I think I sent mine out before I even got yours so it didn't yeah. even like dawn on me because nobody else has said it ever got broken well you know my 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 mail carrier when she came to my door today with my packages told me she had a hundred packages Expect the worst and pack like they would throw or put heavy boxes on your package. That you're right, Adam. That's what you should. So, so now my my local mail mail carrier, she's really nice. They're really nice that you know they don't throw my things around or anything like that. But uh, uh but you know that's my my local uh, little thing. So if Ronnie Virginia Gardner is in here, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Also, have you already done your video about your giveaway? Or is me? It, yeah. No, um, I'm that's gonna come up sometime this week. I just don't know what day I'm gonna have time to fit it in. But I am doing my 300 subscriber finally because <laughs> I'm at 352, I think, right now, and I got behind on getting it done on time. So I'll probably be at 400 and be doing another one pretty soon too. But yeah, it's a um. It's an ornament full of jewelry. Well, not completely full, I but it's really cute. So, so I am. Uh, I've got to in the next few days. I'm gonna put up just a little blurb video that is going to be my contest because I'm having a giveaway this month too, because it's going to be a 500 subscriber mark, even though I'm about 34 away. So if you've not subscribed, I need 34 me. 34 more people right so, anyway so anyhow <laughs> thanks Ansley I wished I had thousands <laughs> I might do that too I might not do a 400 because I've been doing like every hundred to try to push 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 you know yeah. and I might um just wait till the 500 because I'm I want to hopefully make my thousand by my year mark see Landine, you're you're asking me to write fragile on it but everybody that i know that works in the postal service hey uh casey has told me that that when you write fragile on it it almost is like a challenge to some of the dock workers to be real rough with it so i've never wrote fragile on mine so ever from from the time that i started selling 10 years ago i wouldn't write it on there so anyway so I'm going to show you all a few things I'm going to give away and then we're going to go because uh, I'm a, I am cooking big time. Thank you, Grumpy. That's April's channel. Fragile kick me. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I've always heard. So I'm going to be giving away this queen of chocolate uh, keepsake ornament from Hallmark. It's so cute. <laughs> so, I've got two vintage cards that are in envelopes that have canceled postage from 1939 and the graphics on them are amazing so here's this one Ooh. and and it's got a copper wire on it and when you open it up it shows it getting electrified <laughs> and here is this one this one has even better graphics more colorful and it has little hair-like hair things for the broom. So, Cute. and these are little birthday cards for a little a young lady, uh, Miss Harriet Berry from Beach Creek, PA. Don't even have a zip code on it. So, 1939. I don't know when they started using zip codes. And then I have this, and it is a cross stitch. It's from 1976. It mm -hmm. is vintage, and it's cute. It's Don't Rush Me. A bathtub scene. That's what my great grandmother used to do. She used to do the cross stitch. I remember 
um, doing some of them with her when I was a little girl. And so far, I have this little bag of goodies. And some of them, when I show them to you, uh, you'll recognize. I have this little brooch and earring set. I have this brooch, which came out of my hoarding bucket when I was showing y'all this brooch. This came out of my hoard. <laughs> and I have this brooch that also came out of my hoard. Some of my old rhinestone stuff. And I have this little lipstick carrier that is just, it's engravable. And it, you slide your lipstick and, and uh, pops up, has a little mirror there. So, I hope I find one of those. I haven't found one of those yet. So have that. And I will be adding more things to this. As we go, I will add more things to this. So uh, I will probably add some more vintage pieces and some more newer pieces. So anyway, so it'll be a good giveaway. So I will be by the end of the week, I will have that up because I want to get it going and uh, give it away at the end of the week that I have. Actually, I want to give it away by the 15th. So. I need to start doing that. So actually, you know what? Yeah, I think they're saying everything has to be out by the 17th to guarantee getting it there by Christmas. Okay. Let's just say that I will go and change my title. And let's just say this is my giveaway video that I'm announcing my giveaway for my Chris. I'm calling it a Christmas giveaway. Oh, I did have one more thing that was supposed to be in there. So uh, it is this little thing right here. It says Arizona on it, but you could always pop this off. I think it would pop off real easy because it just sets over on the enamel top and it's actually a little sewing kit. Mm -hmm. it's cute. And cute. you could pop that out and it could be a pillbox too. So, but it has that little sewing kit in it. So it's really cute. I'm going to stick it in there. So anyway, and I have... Let's see where it went. There it is. I have a trinket box that will go in it. So I have a couple of those. I use them for taking photos of jewelry and stuff. Well, I have some of those laid back for jewelry taking. Uh, mm -hmm. And this one here, trinket box. Uh, so 1976 doesn't seem like vintage to you. Hey, Barbie Crafts, I didn't see you come in. So anyway, so um, let's see. Oh, I know. Here's something else that can go in it that's in a box. I love giving things that are in boxes. So anyway, I think I mentioned these once before. Now, this box wants to come apart really good. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. There. Okay. I'm just going to pull this out because this box wants to come apart. These really cool Avon earrings, they're dangled. They look, uh, hmm, what do they look like to me? They kind of Indian or Moroccan or something. Yeah, that's what I was, I'd, yeah. Anyway, those, those are cool. So, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, I do like them, and they they go in this box here, and they and the box wants to come apart on me. So anyway, so but I will uh, maybe when we open tomorrow's thing, I will find some things in it that I will add, and as we go along, I'll just tell you, hey, I'm adding this because I will be doing some more videos this month. So anyway, so so to enter, all you have to do is leave a comment and tell me. Uh, why don't you share what has been a very memorable Christmas present for you? Because we talked about me not being able to hide the look on my face. So share something that was has been a very memorable Christmas present for you, whether it was a good memory or a bad memory. And uh, we will, uh, I will, uh, all the comments on this video right here, we will uh, do the, um, um, do the random comment selector thing uh, somebody will have to help me with that but I'm sure April can anyway because I've not ever done a giveaway like this so there anyway so we'll have a box full of things that'll come and 
and all that. So everybody sub, everybody leave a comment to enter. So April, you got anything else to tell them? Um, well, I hope to see everybody tonight um, at the auction at six o'clock Eastern time with me and Casey Geisha Treasures. If you're not sub to us, go sub. We do these every other Monday on my channel. And I know you were asking me, I pulled the jewelry jar over here to look at it. You were asking me about some brands that were in the jar that's going to be in the auction. I do have Avon. I have sterling silver in here. I have some natural stones in here. These I'm, that I'm looking at are earrings. And I believe the ear wires are sterling. And it looks like a type of turquoise. So I'm not certain about them. But that's in there. I have a mother of pearl um, heart. It's like different size graduating heart uh, necklace. I have a real pearl <coughs> necklace in here. There's uh, some fashion rings. Uh, bro, uh, no, those are the earrings. These are rhinestone earrings. This little small cameo here. <coughs> the brooch. Sorry. I think there's JJ in here. Monet. Yeah, and I can't even re remember all the other ones. There's a spoon. Spoon ring, Napier necklace there, because I put that charm one in there. So, yeah, I tried to load it up with some good stuff. Cool. So, okay, guys, I'm adding one more thing. I'm going to put this uh, sewing box. It's made in the Philippines. I don't know that it's vintage, but it is made in vintage style. But I'm, I would I'm, say yes. I sold one already on Etsy, and then I bought another one to sell, but then I decided to keep it <laughs> for myself. But, yeah, I think it is vintage. Comment after the video uploads. Yeah, leave a comment on down in the comment section, not here, not in the live chat, because I will uh, probably disable the live chat afterwards. So that way, that will be all. So I'm going to put this in here too. Now, let me tell you something because I do have Canadian viewers. So <clears throat> to send something like all of this to a Canadian viewer would be super expensive. And so what I'm going to do is um, if, you, if you leave a comment and you win and you're from Canada, I will send you a, a $25 uh, eBay gift card. I think I can get eBay gift cards, can I? I can, can't I? More than likely, yes. Yeah. So I'll send you. Oh, that has a little crack in it, so, but it's still a cool little thing. So anyway, that that tray has. I'm setting this stuff in in here, so I remember that it's all part of my giveaway. So anyway, so but uh, um, I hate that that has a crack in that tray. So. But uh, uh, so I'm gonna give this away. But there's still gonna be more jewelry added to it. So giveaway, Cindy giveaway. Anyway, so but if you are, it's hard not to keep stuff. If you are in Canada or even somewhere else, because I can always send you. I think I can email them like a a code. Can I? I can email a code. I know I can on Amazon cards. So I can email. Okay, Casey mentioned something like that, that there's some way you can give them a code or something. Yeah, I can email you a code and uh, and uh, I will send. So, wow. That's cool. Hey, Tati's Closet. So anyway, so be sure and leave a comment in the comment section after the video closes to enter the giveaway and I will put in my title that this is the Christmas giveaway. So, so thanks to everybody who subbed and thank you. And y'all sub to all of the ones in the, in the thing and um, give the video thumbs up. Yeah. Give video thumbs up and uh, be sure and come tonight and watch bougie bear and Casey. They've got goodies. And if you're not following them on Facebook, you need to be following them on Facebook because they have shared in a lot of groups and on their pages, some of the things that are in the auction. So, mm -hmm. anyway. got that whiting and this handbag too. Uh, <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Y'all hear me, see me putting my fingers in my ears and singing, right? Whiting yeah. and Davis. 
my downfall. Who who was it that was asking for Whiting and Davis mesh bags? Was it Cherry Berry? Somebody was interested in them. And ooh, that's my phone. Amber alert on my phone. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, somebody was asking about them in your video. And I mentioned that, you know, I had one that I was willing to let go of. <laughs> and then I would put it in the auction. So I'm not sure who it was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to go and be sure and leave your comments. So, anyway. So, yes, it was Cherry Berry. Okay. Hey, Cherry Berry. She just popped in. So, don't forget to hit the bell to subscribe. Yes. So, y'all have a great afternoon. Also, thank you for the extra fabulous extras. You're welcome. Did you like your brooches, Cherry Berry? You love love the christmas brooches go back and watch this video from the front because i just showed a bunch of christmas brooch brooches so anyway is dawn in here i didn't see dawn in here so yeah she popped in a little while ago okay hi dawn i missed you sorry so there you are so anyway so but yeah be sure and leave a comment because i want this contest to be fun and i want somebody to win a bunch of stuff stuff a bunch of stuff so anyway so uh, uh and there's going to be a bunch of stuff in it so cool yeah so okay we'll see y'all later bye y'all bye everybody